Meet Nala, a four-year-old golden retriever and a service dog to her owner, Varun. Last summer, Varun and his wife, Samantha, moved into this Etobicoke condo building, but the couple say that getting Nala approved to live with them has been a battle. Despite the fact that she's a service animal, the condo board has told them that they need to pay up or they'll lose her. They did say that if I don't give my medical documentation, if I don't pay the fees, uh, they will reach out to the condo tribunal board uh, to file a motion to evict the animal from the building. It's been months of back and forth between Varun Wutneja and the board of Kingsgate Condo Corporation. The condo rules only permit residents to own one dog weighing 20 pounds or less. But Varun asked for an exemption for Nala. She's been with me for four and a half years now. She's been licensed as a service animal for almost a year. When she senses that I'm stressed or, or I'm angry because of for whatever reason, she comes up to me and she'll paw me. He was told by the building's property manager that he would have to pay $450 for the condo board's lawyer to draft up an exemption agreement. It was a shocker, like I need to pay to get accommodated in the building. Varun refused, saying he already provided all of the necessary documentation. That's when he says the board's lawyer got involved, requesting further details about his medical need and adding in a letter, quote, anyone can register their dogs on the Service Dogs Canada webpage. The documentation is not sufficient to establish that Nala is a genuine service dog. The law is quite clear that a person that requires the assistance of a service animal uh, is entitled to accommodation, and this includes in housing. Human rights lawyer Shane Martinez says while the board is entitled to ask for information about a person's disability under the Ontario Human Rights Code, a dog doesn't necessarily need to be certified to win a case. But he says it's the legal fee that is most concerning. In those circumstances, you're effectively imposing a price tag to be accommodated under the code. You're saying, no, we're only going to respect your human rights if you can afford it. Uh, and that is entirely contrary to the spirit of the code. We reached out to the condo board. In a statement to City News, they argued that if they didn't seek reimbursement, the cost would fall on all condo owners in the building. But they also appear to change course, adding, quote, the board has agreed to process this request without reimbursement of the legal fee, subject to a later determination by a court or tribunal as to whether the legal fee should be paid by the requester. Are you willing to take it to the uh, Human Rights Tribunal? Absolutely. Like, we would love to get this peacefully resolved. Our, our intention is not for them to change the condo board ruling or, or change their bylaws. We just want to keep a service animal in the building. That's about it. In Etobicoke, Erica Natividad, City News.